In this video, we'll demonstrate the use of mechanical cardiopulmonary resuscitation with a Lucas device. After viewing this video, you will be able to identify the basic components of the Lucas device, demonstrate proper use of the Lucas device for use on a patient in cardiac arrest, Describe the contraindications for utilizing mechanical CPR. According to the American Heart Association, there are more than 357,000 EMS-assessed out-of-hospital cardiac arrests each year in the United States, almost 90% of which are fatal. Mechanical CPR is an effective alternative to manual CPR, especially during ambulance transport where the number of responders is not adequate. Performed by automated chest compression equipment, it can be utilized in both the pre-hospital and in-hospital setting for patients suffering cardiac arrest and allows for consistent high-quality CPR essential for improved patient outcomes. Contraindications for utilizing mechanical CPR include patients that are too small, patients that are too large. If you cannot lock the support legs of the device into the backplate, without compressing the chest, the patient is too big. You should refer to your protocols for additional contraindications specific to your organization. All basic life support standards are still in place when using any mechanical CPR device, so it's critical to remember that manual CPR must be initiated as soon as possible while the device is being set up, and that AHA guidelines state CPR should not be interrupted for more than 10 seconds. A Lucas device is contained within a hard shell backpack style carry case. Inside the backpack you will find the compressor, the back plate, the stabilization strap, AC power cable, rechargeable battery. Standard personal protective equipment should be employed while responding to a patient requiring the use of a mechanical CPR device. To begin placement, open the Lucas device's case. Power on the Lucas device by pushing the on-off button. Next, position the backplate under the patient. The backplate can be placed by either rolling the patient or by lifting the upper torso. When positioning the back plate, ensure the patient's nipple line is centered on the plate. Next, remove the compressor from the case and pull the release rings to ensure the claw locks are open. When attaching the compressor to the back plate, Approach from the opposite side of the person performing manual compressions. The compressor claw locks will click when securely attached to the back plate. If a third responder is available, have them aid in guiding the opposite arm of the compressor head onto the back plate. Following attachment of the compressor head, pull the suction cup down to touch the patient's chest. Make sure the lower edge of the suction cup is directly above the xiphoid process. Then press the pause button and the Lucas device will self-adjust to the correct start position. If an advanced airway is not in place, activate the compressor by pressing the 30 to 2 button. If an advanced airway is in place, activate the compressor by pressing the play button. The stabilization strap helps hold the compressor in the correct location. To place this strap, connect on one side of the compressor Loop the strap behind the patient's neck, then connect to the other side of the compressor and tighten the straps. Ensure that the suction cup is still in the proper place. If the unit has altered positions, pause the Lucas and reposition. Defibrillation can be performed while the Lucas device is operating. 
After the Lucas has begun mechanical CPR, place the defibrillator pads on the patient and connect to the defibrillator. To ensure the patient has a shockable rhythm, press the pause button and analyze the heart rhythm. If a shockable rhythm is detected, press the play button or the 30 to 2 button based on the airway in place. Next, proceed with shocking. Ensure no responders are touching the patient when the shock is delivered. If the patient is being moved, their arms can be secured with the patient straps on the sides. After each move of the patient, ensure that the suction cup is still in the correct place. If the unit has altered positions, pause the Lucas and reposition. The Lucas can be operated via either an AC power adapter or rechargeable battery. When functioning under AC power, a battery must still be present in the battery compartment. During a battery exchange, use the slot on the front of the battery to pull up and release it from its compartment. If the battery change is completed within 60 seconds, the Lucas will remember the suction cup position. Troubleshooting the Lucas when it is on the patient should be avoided. If the Lucas goes into alarm mode and stops compressing, the compressor head should be removed from the backplate and manual compressions be initiated immediately. For optimal familiarization with mechanical CPR devices, training should be undertaken on a regular basis. The key is to be consistent at applying the device and minimizing the time off the patient's chest. Mm -hmm.